Hi Taurus, welcome to your soul and love guidance and this are readings for the 15 to the end of the month, okay, uh, May. And just want to remind you these readings are general, so it might resonate with you completely, partially or not at all. So if it doesn't resonate, you know that's it, this reading is not for you then. So let's start with you looking at the cards because I know you want to see your cards what's going on now so let's look at this Ooh, look at this cards you see this one right nice so remember this are this cards right here in the front row are for every single department of your life love work studies so this is your general energy and the general energy you're going to be this last two weeks of May Justice card, which is a great card to have Taurus because you really need this. Why I'm saying you're going to need this? Because we know Uranus is going to be passing, I mean, moving towards your sign. So you're going to be feeling it and I'm pretty sure you're already feeling it so you don't like changes and you're gonna pass through a lot of changes if you want to know a bit more of what I'm talking about and you know what 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 is that I'm saying right now go back to the month to your monthly okay for May and at the end you will see at the end of the reading I'll put like a little you know bubble there so you will see it says you know Taurus um, May reading so it's important for you to listen to it because it's it's crucial for you to understand what is coming for you right this is the start many changes will come so the justice cards the energy you're going to be in it's very important to understand that this car is telling you that you're going to be in a place where things are kind of falling into place why I'm saying that uh, is because there's going to be more balance and if you see this person right here is holding the scales it's balanced things out what is fair right so it's good to know that you are going to feel like things are going to be either in your favor or they might not be going in your favor all depends on where you feel you are standing on I'll see more like it's in your favor to be honest but there's a lot of things we need to talk about especially when it comes to what you need to focus on which I just started saying it but what you need to avoid is this period of confusion you're going to be so oh if you see this person it seems like a trumpet like this person is a face right there you see it's very hard it's the clouds but it seems like I don't know it seems like someone it's blowing something right out of his mouth so for me it means like you going to feel like you are you know when you're in the airplane and then you feel the turbulence that's exactly how you're going to be feeling in an airplane passing through turbulence so what you need to do right it's not to blow up and act irrational but to ask advice for a good friend and it's very important you see this because you're going to need to help and it's a good friend so it's very clear to me very clear to me like you've been passing through a lot of things and you're still going to be, be passing through a lot of turbulence with Uranus moving to your side maybe people around going to be bothering you already picking on you and things like that and you need to focus right now on that movement and when I said focusing on that movement is because you need to move forward you can try to stay in the position you are right now okay don't get angry because you Taurus when you get angry forget it you get angry and trust me two of my great friends are Taurus so uh, Aries and I have two Taurus and you guys can get quite woo you know say things that you can regret later later so focus on the movement with clarity uh, as for support and focus and what is this change about do not resist it 
because you're making it worse. Go with the flow. Whatever you see what the change is, what's the moving, relocating work, maybe uh, changing your workplace, redecorating or remodeling your house you want to do. I mean, I'm just saying whatever you feel like it is. Um, maybe moving, moving through a different uh, type of exercise program or whatever. Whatever you, you are in right now, focus on that. Okay, focus on that. But remember that your soul lesson, it's about surrendering. And why I'm saying this surrendering? Because you need to, he says, I can't release, I can't release my need to control. Um, this means basically that not everything needs to be the way you want. And sometimes, and I know, you know how you are, right? This is what I want, and it's going to be like this. And you guys kind of like, from time to time, your ego kind of like rise up. And you demand that things be the way they should be. So at this point, you don't, you don't need to be like that. You need to surrender, surrender, go with the flow, go with the changes. Focus in the movements that you need and the changes and transformations that are going to be that you're going to be passing through in a passive way. Do not go back here like you know saying things that you can regret. As for someone to that friend that can give you an advice. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you know this person and you know who it is. And it could be like a mentor for you, or it's just simply a friend. It's a good friend of you, of yours, that you really need to talk to and you know calm down. Remember, the justice here. You're going to be feeling like it's fair. Everything is happening to you, like, okay. So you're gonna feel the balance, but at the same time, turbulence is coming in. So. When I say you're going to have the balance and you're going to have the turbulence, it's because one thing is going to compensate another, right? So it's not going to be that bad. Trust me. So now let's go for the love and let's do this pretty quick. For my singles who doesn't have anybody, you might be dating people, but you're not in a serious relationship. So. First of all, we have three cards. It's very important to look at these cards. You know what is blocking you for find love? There is something or a secret about lies or something that is blocking you. If you are seeing someone or you like someone, maybe someone is deceiving you or you are keeping secrets. But someone is keeping se secrets and is causing these problems. Uh, it's causing problems to you to find love and it's blocking you it's like an obstacle right there but the good thing is like things are going to end and transform all that anxiety that you're getting from this problem okay because i know you are dealing with this kind of sadness and that you you feeling because you can't find the love or you cannot move and progress in the relationship but that inside is going to end and actually at the end actually at the end it does seems like things are going to work and settle down a lot for you um, so if you decide to open up or you know or talk to this person and see what's going on because there are secrets here. There are secrets that are causing problems in your love life, and these are the main obstacles. So, they definitely going to end, and things are going to settle down to something um, more, more, um, more serious. I would say uh, something that is not going to keep you up and down, up and down. Because I feel like you're being up and down, up and down in this relationship with whoever you are with. Or whoever you want you 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 are with that you're not in a relationship but at the same time in a serious relationship but at the same time if you're single you you might be dating dating or not finding anyone 
but it must be something maybe you are the one who keeping secrets you don't show who you are you just you know something is inside of you that is causing problems and obstacles in your relationships in your love life for my couples for my couples so you know what I think you need to just go to that friend you might feel a little you know confused too when it comes to your relationship and what's going on you might be feeling like you know things are going to just is coming around putting things in order and then you are going to probably feel someone is lying to you or keeping secrets from you or you are doing that but you need advice because remember this is the soul guidance here and this is love here so this is for every single department for my couples okay for my couples that you are together marry or not marry living or not living together there is going to be a lot of talk so some of you being having some talks that probably ended on something or you guys don't want it to bring it up ever but maybe someone wanted to get pregnant or wanted to have a baby or you know things are transforming in terms to uh, conversations about probably increasing family right having kids but you kind of guys probably decided to let it be maybe you guys were having trouble having babies and suddenly for some of you there's going to be a surprise pregnancy or baby if you decided to adopt maybe you getting a baby or whatever it is but whatever you expecting um, from this I mean whatever you expect I mean if you expecting is going to be successful okay everything is going to go is going to be okay and it's great it's great um so if you are not i mean it seems like it's don't get scared this is not for all my Taurus, but it does seem like there is some unexpected news about pregnancy that you guys stopped talking about and now it's going to happen so that's more or less for some of my Taurus, but if it's not pregnancy, it could be new things coming in terms to romance that you guys probably, it just come in unexpectedly. Maybe someone is being more romantic and, you know, maybe being more serious, you know, because this is for Mary, not Mary, and maybe you guys want to, wanted to uh, get serious and those talks about uh, developing something serious was left behind because you felt like someone didn't want to be with you or you're the person who didn't want to be in a serious relationship at the end or if you're married you know obviously it might seem more like someone is having a baby or just having gifts and be more romantic so anyway put it on your situation and I hope it helped you in any way remember Justin is coming here is going to put things in order for you and if you want to know more about Uranus and what's doing, go to the monthly. Uh, I'm going to leave it right here. It must be in my left or right or whatever it is. You will see it. There's the, the reading for Taurus on May. So go back to the monthly here on my channel and there's more details about it. Anyway, much love, much light, and I'll see you on June. Bye.